Hi and welcome to WoW Flash. This is my weekly news series which covers anything to do with World of Warcraft that is of interest to my channel from the past seven days. Now, the big news this week will be um, the PTR, the PTR update. You'll have noticed whenever you've logged off World of Warcraft, it's saying, oh, updated PTR. It has now been labelled as the release build. So what this means is, bugs aside, or any last minute bit of tuning, it is pretty much as intended for release, which means patch 7.1.5, release imminent. They haven't said exactly when yet, but hmm, we can sort of think about it a little bit. I mean, I've already said this a few times before, but they've now confirmed that the Call of the Scarab, which will be the first micro holiday to take place in patch 7.1.5, will actually be, I've been talking about it, it's been January 22nd, because that's sort of the anniversary of the first time the gates of Anchorage were opened. But they've actually said the 21st to the 23rd, so it's going to last a few days, is the Call of the Scarab. So we know that patch 7.1.5 has to come out before then. So you would probably think the week before that, all right, which is the release of Nighthold. That's going to coincide with the release of Nighthold. Um, possibly also why Blizzard have been going out of their way to make sure that people are aware that Nighthold is not itself part of 7.1.5. It's just a coincidence they're coming out at roughly the same time and in actual fact maybe coming out at exactly the same time. They've also announced the dates of other micro holidays that sort of seems to be roughly one a month. Um, but those will presumably be on the calendar as well when this goes live. You've got to check those out yourself. Method gave an interesting reply to a question. Method, of course being the uh, Back to the World First Guild, and they were asked if people, because Blizzard, this was to do with Legendaries, and Blizzard had said that, you know, Legendaries, the Legendary system in Legion is not going to affect the World First race, so someone asked them, have you ever benched someone because of not having good enough Legendaries? Uh, and the reply was that they've never benched people, but they have asked people to play on characters that have had better Legendaries. Obviously, people in the very top guilds have got numerous alts, uh, we don't even call them alts, really. Uh, alts, should I call them alts? From someone's comment, alts, behave. Um, because they have so many characters. It's hard, I suppose for some people it's hard even to say they have a main when they've got so many and all kept up to the same gear level. You know, which one do you identify as your main? But, yeah, to be told you're going to be playing on whichever character gets the best legendaries does sort of um, give lie to the idea that well, the legendaries do matter, you know. So, although individual people are not being benched in the top guilds because of the legendaries they've got, they are being made to play on a character that just happens to have the best legendaries. Because, of course, they will do so much content that can award legendaries, they know that on one character at least they're going to have the good ones. Um, as we put last week... Um, Trial of Valor has been massively nerfed. I mean, massively nerfed. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's unwipeable. Uh, you can you can still if you're messing about. We've sort of found that out. Uh, so yeah, just as people are progressing and might have benefited from these super nerfs to get it finished off, is the time at which we all go away for our Christmas breaks and stop raiding. Excellent. Uh, personally, I would have preferred if they'd nerfed Hellier a little bit. Hellier probably was a bit overtuned. We understand that. They got a lot of stick about Mythic Xavius being too easy. It wasn't actually easy. It's not like really, it's just easy compared to getting to Xavius. It wasn't like you get to Xavius the last boss and oh, this is the real test now. It wasn't like that, unfortunately. Uh, so they wanted to make sure that wasn't going to be the case in Trial of Valor and they certainly did make sure it wasn't the case. Odin, Guam and Helia are all very difficult fights on, on Mythic, uh, but Helia was just brutal. Well, brutal, really. Very few guilds killed it. Um, but, you know, they must know that these nerfs are coming in at a time. They're going away on break, but more about that at the end of the video. And, but so are we, uh, or so are some of us. So they must know it's not going to really help as many people as it otherwise would. I'd have preferred, this is my personal opinion, of course, other people have different opinions. Uh, I would have preferred they just put back Nighthold another couple of weeks. Maybe bring it out the end of January or something, that would still be. It would still be in line with what they originally said before Legion in that Nighthold will come out early 2017. End of January, still pretty early 2017, but that's just my view. Um, someone pointed out that Beastmaster Hunter's artifact, their 35th trait, says plus 5% damage uh, from the pet. You know, in other words, plus 5% to pet damage, whereas everyone else gets plus 5% damage, or at least DPS. Um, Blizzard have confirmed in a tweet 
that this is just a tooltip error. It does give plus 5% damage overall, and that the tooltip itself will be fixed in patch 7.1.5. Uh, there is a new Winter Vale event this year, as well as the snow globes in various cities. There's also a different version of Great Father Winter, who is in High Mountain and will give you order resources if you bump into him. I did a video on that yesterday, so check that out if you're not familiar with that. Um, Blizzard have, you know, finally Blizzard have confirmed that there will be most, much less engagement over the Christmas break. Uh, I think I noted that last week. As they go on their own Christmas breaks, you know, employees are themselves having breaks. So that means that the few that are sort of left are not going to have time to be doing lots of feedback. They've got work to do. It also might mean that this is the last wow flash of the year because there may not be one for next Friday. I only say may because not necessarily all the news comes from Blizzard. Some of it comes from the community. Uh, but the community itself is also likely to be much quieter. In fact, uh, as a YouTuber now, I can probably appreciate it's very difficult to tell as a player. Um, but... Because you might sort of think, well, Christmas breaks, people have got more time to play World of Warcraft. Whereas in actual fact, the reverse is true. They're, they're off doing other things. Uh, some people actually have a life. My goodness. Um, but I've noticed on YouTube, this December, just like last December, I've had significantly fewer views and new subscribers in this month than the previous months. So either my December content has been rubbish for the second year running, or just people are off doing other things and not really on online uh full stop really so yeah there may not be any new news over the next week and if there isn't there won't be a wild flash i'm not going to try and force the issue in which case the next wild flash will be in two weeks time in the new year of 2017 so that's pretty much from the news from this week in the coming week i will still be putting out some content now there's going to be a couple of top fives coming out there's a top five news stories from 2016 warcraft related of course there's going to be a top five features of patch 7.1.5, sort of my view of that. Now that the release build is out, it's sort of set in stone pretty much. Um, so I'm going to be able to do that. I'm also going to be doing a retribution theater. I haven't done this for some time, uh, but someone has sent in some logs and video for analysis. I'll do a video of that. Sorry about the delay on that one. I've only just come across it. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that next week. There's also something else I would be like, I'd like to do next week. I've got a little project in mind. It's something completely different. You'll never guess what it is. Um, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But a completely different new sort of series. I ought to try and think of a new sort of off-the-wall series each year, I've decided. 2016, it didn't go all the way through the year, but I was doing my um, Archives of Warcraft, which is on Vanilla Dungeons. I had wanted to continue that, and I still it's still on my to-do list at some point, but it's just taking more time than I sort of have, really, with other things that I've been doing. But I have another project in mind that actually shouldn't take too much time, but might be quite interesting for people. And if I get time to get some videos from actual footage done next week, then I would like to get that out there. But otherwise, it will definitely be a feature of 2017, uh, and hopefully that'll go well as well. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Joyeux Noël, Frohe Weihnachten, and Jede Gül, and any other variants that I can't think of at the moment. Goodbye.